Well, this is uh, where the Blue Ray Limpet goes. This is young Laminaria digitata. And when you get the big holes past, they can be the size of your fist. And, more. and that's when you get the Blue Ray Limpets in them. So this is quite young. It's called Digitata because it's a bit like a hand with the digits on it. Laminaria only found below low tide. It's quite a beauty, that one. And this one here. Again, all the pelts or laminarias are below low tide. They need a rock substrate to hold on to. This has got hold of a pebble. This is young stuff. This is laminaria saccharina. You can see this elsewhere where I've written about it and I've made the kelp crisp out of this one. You just dry it, you don't wash it, you just dry it. Uh, the young fronds are what you should be going for. Um, this would probably be okay actually. It's not too weathery. You can get it younger than this. Laminary saccharina, single prong, wavy edge, and very different to the uh, between the two. And then you've got one or two others up here. That you can see. That's more saccharina, that's right, that's more digital there. And then you've got one of the rats, the future species here, big wide up, which is more the shoreline. But this has uh, a serrated edge or saw like edge to it. Found in the mid, mid shore, mid to lower shore, um, and it's called Fucus serratus. All the racks are called Fucoids, the Fucus species. And this one is um, with its serrated edge, is Fucus serratus. And they've dotted around here. We've got a few small pieces of the green Elva Lactuca, which again I've written about, it's nice and solid. Um, and this one here, which is Again, it's all dried up now, but this has like a calcium or calcareous deposit on the red seaweed. It's called Coralina officinalis. 